BC's minister responsible for seniors says she cannot explain how a 76-year-old Vancouver Island man was left in a hallway at Royal Jubilee Hospital for five months. We were the first to show you his shocking living arrangements this week in the cramped dead end of a corridor. But Ida Chong, the minister responsible, insists that Peter Piercy's hallway home should not reflect on seniors' care across the province. Others, however, say what happened to Piercy is indeed a sign of sickness in the health care system. A news reporter Shashi Curl has the story. On the same day, 76-year-old Peter Piercy was languishing in a hallway at Royal Jubilee Hospital, a place he'd lived for five months while waiting for a residential care bed. That day, Healthy Living Minister Ida Chong was unveiling a new Bill of Rights for people living in residential care. And it is important that everybody know what those rights are. After five long months in his hallway home, it would be one more before Piercy was finally moved into Oak Bay Lodge to avail himself of that Bill of Rights. Give us an idea. Today, Chong, the minister responsible for seniors in BC, says the wait never should have been that long. I, I don't think uh, people would believe that that is an acceptable and appropriate level of care. And she's at a loss to explain why Piercy waited five long months. Um, that I don't have an answer for, and that's why I hope the review or investigation that is being conducted by VHA will reveal that. But others can think of reasons. Yesterday, as his caregivers at the Vancouver Island Health Authority offered a full apology for leaving him there and for charging him thousands of dollars for the privilege, they also offered this. Well, again, our, our hospitals are full. Also, our residential care facilities are full. Experts go further, saying when it comes to seniors accessing long-term care, BC ranks dead last in the country. And we've had the largest decline in access of any province in Canada. In 2001, the Campbell government promised to add 5,000 residential care beds across BC. And while it has added and two, fixed up other three. beds, it's fallen well short of the mark with Perfect. residential care. Nine years after that promise, only 1,000 or so have been built. Chong claims wait lists for long-term beds now are still better than they were a decade ago. And she says what happened to Peter Piercy doesn't reflect seniors' care in this province. I would like to believe that this is not what is taking place uh, on, on a regular basis. I would like to believe that this is an exception. An exception? Piercy's stepdaughter takes exception to. Ultimately, who do you hold responsible for the fact that, that he sat there for five months? Ministry of Health. You know, it's good. something's got to be done for our seniors. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.